I was kind of astonished because I'm like, damn, I didn't know pregnancy tests could be false and then positive later. It doesn't take a whole day for a pregnancy test to say that you're pregnant. You knew that pregnancy test was negative. You knew your ass wasn't pregnant. Flash with Cindy Week TV, where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like y'all already know another story time for you guys. But before I get into it, y'all know the drill, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below if you have not done so already because you don't want to miss these crazy ass topics I got up for y'all next. In order to keep up with me, you are also going to want to turn those post notifications on that way you can keep up whenever I post my next video. But because YouTube be fucking up, I'm gonna need y'all to also go ahead and follow me on all of my social medias because I post secret links to videos that have not been published yet like I do a lot of shit and let's go ahead and get into the video all right so this story time is gonna be a bit different because it ain't about me but I'm in the story so it got something to do with me okay so going back whenever I was a freshman in high school I had this friend we're gonna call her Neek and Neek, she wasn't from Houston. Uh, I, I knew immediately whenever I met her she wasn't from Houston because we had a class together and that's how I met her. And come to find out, she was from Vegas. So we, you know, we was talking, we got each other's number, we started hanging out. Now, um, in the beginning of our friendship, I wasn't pregnant, but towards, like, the story that I'm getting ready to tell y'all, um, I had found out I was pregnant with Nevaeh, and so she had knew about it and stuff like that. And whenever we first met, she told me that she had a son but he didn't live with her. I don't remember who she said he lived with, but I thought that was really, really weird because once we started hanging out, I started going to her house and so both of her parents were in the house. So I'm just like, that's weird. Why would you leave your son in a whole other state and then you and your family are down here? I don't know, that was just really weird, but I thought maybe, okay, maybe it was because she was young. No, I don't know, fuck it, I don't know. But I didn't really pay no mind. Whenever I got pregnant, like I noticed she's like asking me questions like, how does it feel or, you know, are you sick? Like, how it is and stuff. And I always used to wonder, like, don't you know? Like, shouldn't you know you had a baby? I think she told me her son was maybe like one or two. Me being naive as hell, I really didn't think much of it. Wait, y'all, I'm lying. This was not my freshman year. This was my sophomore year. Yeah, my sophomore year. My freshman year was the whole year. Sophomore year is whenever I began to slow down. And that's when I got pregnant. And I had no choice but to slow down. So, yeah, that was my sophomore year. She would also post pictures of this alleged son that she had on Instagram and stuff, but I noticed she would like always delete it. She did this with all of her pictures though. She would like post pictures and leave it there for a few days and then delete it. Like she was one of those Instagram type of hoes. She had like a buku followers, was only following like two people and only had like five pictures that changed like every month. One day we decided to hang out. My mom dropped me off to her house and we were gonna do some job hunting because I felt like a bitch needed a job because I was getting ready to have a baby and she felt like she wanted a job too because she was actually like two years older than me. She was a junior and I was a sophomore so I was actually 15 and she was like 17, 16 going to 17, some shit like that. So her dad had dropped us off in this like strip mall with like a bunch of different places like Best Buy, Target, Walmart. If I could find the exact parking lot, I'll go ahead and put it as my background. So y'all see, if y'all can see it, y'all will see all of those different things, different places that they had. We were just going into every place and asking them how old you have to be to get a job. Most of the places I couldn't apply for because I was 15 and most places started off at 16. So she was really only able to apply, but I was able to apply for foot records. That was the only job that was like, we'll start off at 15. As we were doing all that, she was telling me she thought she might have been pregnant. Whenever she told me that, I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay, maybe that's why she was asking me about symptoms, even though she still should know this shit because, again, you got a two year old son, right? She was like, I think I'm gonna go buy a pregnancy test. I don't know which store we went to, probably like Walgreens or something like that, I don't remember. But as we were walking to get job applications, we also walked to get a pregnancy test and she went to the bathroom to take the pregnancy test. Maybe about five minutes or so later, she came out and she was like, yeah, it's negative. And so I looked at him like, okay, yeah, that's negative too. And so she was acting like she was relieved. But to me, I, I can read people's body language and I, I don't know I just I feel like I'm a people whisperer sometimes I could feel my spirit that she wanted to have a baby but she was kind of disappointed but kind of trying to like play it off or whatever uh, I didn't really think much of it so the next day go by and we had school and so we always walk to class together and stuff like that we always meet up at a certain spot in the hallway and walk 
the rest of the way to class. I met with her and she was like, girl, let me show you something. And I was like, what? So she pulled out her purse and it was a pregnancy test. She was like, it's positive. And I was like, oh shit, it is. And you know, it was legit as positive. I'm like, I thought it was negative. She was like, I thought so too. This morning whenever I woke up, I saw that it was positive. So maybe I just missed it. And I'm like, damn, maybe you did. Like, congrats. Like, how you feel? And she was like, girl, like, I mean, I feel okay. I was kind of astonished because I'm like, damn, I didn't know pregnancy tests could be false and then positive later. In my class, a bitch got the Googling because I got curious. And I was like, hold on, let me just... Let me figure this out because ain't no way. Like, let me just see what Google say, okay? So I got on Google and Google probably like, can a pregnancy test turn positive after a day or whatever? I don't know, some, something along those lines. And so what I discovered was that after 10 minutes, a pregnancy test is invalid. Like whatever it says after 10 minutes, most of them are invalid now i know for sure like whenever i take pregnancy tests and it turns out positive like it's gonna be positive for like forever like i have old pregnancy tests and it's still positive i've never known a pregnancy test to turn positive but she has a blue dye test and as i'm older i learned that those blue dye tests are like awful as hell they be showing false positives and stuff like that me to this day i never fuck with the blue dye but back then i didn't really know after i did my research i came to the conclusion that this bitch wasn't pregnant and that she is just delusional at this point it doesn't take a whole day for a pregnancy test to say that you're pregnant i just kind of went along with it i really didn't give a fuck you know i have my own shit going on time went by i think the summer probably ended up starting to something like that and we kind of like didn't really talk that much because we weren't you know seeing each other at school like we weren't that that cool to really hang out with each other during the summertime i just stopped hearing about her son i stopped seeing pictures about her son i believe she told me that she lost the baby um i don't believe that either but the girl was just delusional and then eventually i just stopped talking to her because i just felt like she was just delusional because you knew that pregnancy test was negative you knew your ass wasn't pregnant and the fact that you could even come and tell me that it's positive and the fact that i even believe the shit is just beyond me because bitch like girl more of the story is don't be lying about having babies and don't be lying about positive pregnancy tests when you know damn well that shit is negative or you know damn well your ass shouldn't even be fucking in the first place let's start there okay but that's it y'all if y'all like this video get this video to at least 250 likes um i don't know get it to 250 likes because i said so and because if y'all don't get it to 250 likes then y'all gonna have to wait a whole seven days for another video so if y'all want me to post more than once a week get my videos to the likes that i ask okay i know y'all can do it and if y'all do it i will see y'all in my next video real soon hopefully bye